People are upset. They're frustrated. They feel like a lot of excuses are being thrown around, and that's because they're paying a whole lot of money at the pump. Just in the last three days, 43 cents more per gallon in three days. Take a look at some of these numbers. These are just some of the averages. 535 a gallon is the average for California, and then the national average is 380. Think about that. We're paying two dollars and fifty cents more than the national average. And just as we thought the prices were going down, we're actually seeing them skyrocket in some cases. AAA says the reason describing Southern California as a gas island, meaning we rely on our local oil refineries or outs outsourcing our gas, which primarily comes from Asia. Right now, experts say oil refineries are down for maintenance, causing gas prices to spike. But what's the main reason? While crude oil prices are down, oil companies have increased gas prices in California by a record 84 cents per gallon in just the past 10 days. Experts say oil companies have failed to provide an explanation for the massive spikes. The governor is also now getting involved, calling out oil refineries, even using the term oil company extortion. The degree of divergence from the national prices has never happened before. And oil companies, they provide no explanation. The fact is, they're ripping you off. Newsom, who is running for re-election, wants state lawmakers to pass a windfall tax on oil company profits to send it back to California's through rebates and refunds. He also wants state environmental regulators to allow refineries to produce the less expensive winter blend fuel a month early. Many states are already doing that. That can save us 15 to 20 cents per gallon. Meanwhile, Republican lawmakers have repeatedly called the state to suspend its 53 cent gas tax to bring relief to drivers. A state assemblyman adding that every other state is seeing relief from high gas prices and asking the governor to make a major action, starting with suspending the taxes and fees that make our gas so much more expensive, adding approximately a dollar 80 per gallon. Just imagine that thinking about saving a dollar 80 a gallon that can save multiple people money. In fact, just last week I paid paid $15 more this morning than I did last week. So definitely a shocker at the pump. And sadly, experts say it doesn't look like it's going to get better anytime soon.